It might be cheaper for you to fly to Japan and take your kids to Tokyo Disney. They're actually right, and not just because they're from Hawaii. I'm from the Northwest States, and we spent $739 at Tokyo Disney and Sea. We also went to Disneyland California and Disney World within the same two years of each other. And Disney World came to $1,638. Disneyland came to $1,164. Now let's break this down because there's a lot of stuff that I didn't include in Disney World and Disneyland that might surprise you. And Tokyo. Do we count time as money? In this video, I'm going to cover tickets, fast passes, food, stays like at Airbnbs or hotels, and flights. I'll even show you how much we spent on travel, like trains, Uber, and renting cars. First, let's just talk about how much it costs to even get in. Tokyo is actually a last minute trip, so we bought our tickets the day of. $123.16 for two people. So we spent 62 USD a day. Right now with the yen, I think it's like 50 bucks a day. Which is literally insane when you think about Disney World is 109 bucks per day right now, and Disneyland is 155. I don't know why, but I thought Disneyland was gonna be the cheapest. The whole fast pass thing too has gone insane in the US. Disney World was definitely not worth it we spent like 30 35 bucks a person per day but every time we tried to book a ride it was always too full and we would still have to wait in line for a while disneyland was about 25 bucks a day definitely worth it i feel like we could use it for any ride we wanted tokyo on the other hand was per ride nice. so we spent about 10 to 14 dollars per person per ride but there was never an option where the rides were too full and the lines were they weren't even lines it feels like it would add up but i mean again i only spent 700 wow. bucks in tokyo and over 1200 dollars in the other parks now for the fun part the food the most we spent on a meal for two people was like $28. Here's a screenshot of everything we paid for. Water and soda here literally cost less than $2. We could not believe it. I feel like a drink at the airport or at Disneyland costs at least $6. And here to show you that it really does. For Disney World, drinks were at least $5.50. Eating out at a dinner for two people was about $60. Bucks, $30 bucks more than Tokyo. Disneyland, the cheapest drink was $4. Bucks. Pretty sure that was one water bottle. And food and drink was about like $65. Bucks. The stuff that you see that's like $10 to $30 bucks are just snacks that we picked up. Whereas see this $9 thing in Tokyo? That was two frozen ramenes and a popcorn. Literally my favorite meal of the whole entire trip. Also a huge factor to note is I included food that we brought outside of Disney, like 7-Eleven. Whereas Disney World and Disneyland, I didn't bring any food in. Now for the stays, and this is gonna blow your mind. Tokyo stays was the only one I included in the overall cost, which was about $230 for three nights. And for Disneyland and Disney World, I stayed at family's houses. So looking at the average cost for California and Florida to stay there for three nights, it's about $600 <laughs> if you can find a good deal. So that brings Disney World to $2,573. Still $739 for Tokyo and $1,764 for Disneyland. That's insane. Overall, with transportation, Disneyland was probably the most expensive. I feel like the Disney parks usually have a lot of free buses, but we used Uber the most in California. Disney World, we rented an electric car and getting the superchargers were about 10 to 15 bucks. And yeah, getting an electric car was cheaper than getting a regular car. We weren't right next to the parks because we didn't go to these places just to go to Disney. So I mean, if you did stay at a Disney hotel, you probably would save on transportation. We were probably 20 to 30 minutes out from the Tokyo Disney Park. and taking the metro there is literally like pennies and that one was also the only one included in the beginning cost because we used the suica card which is on our phones the uber in the car we shared costs with friends so i don't even know how much i spent on that just the general idea now for the part that you're wondering how much does it cost to fly to all these places from the lower 48 flying to california is pretty cheap you can get something as low as 80 bucks to 500 600 same thing with orlando just really depending on what major city you're in and if you don't live in hawaii flying to tokyo is probably going to cost you around 1300 to maybe 2200 dollars if you get your ticket really late we bought ours maybe a month in advance maybe less and it was like 17 1800 so i guess that does jack up the price in the long run for japan but then we also stayed in japan for like another two three weeks so i guess if you're already going to japan then if you're a disney fan going there is going to save you money than going to disney world or disneyland if you're flying all the way to tokyo just to go to disney tokyo it still might be worth it because you can buy more food more drinks it's more kid friendly We're safe and the workers actually feel like they want to be there and i haven't even covered costs of souvenirs and if you're not a Disney fan, then this is definitely for you. I can't explain why. Maybe it's just because you're in Japan and not America. If this was somehow helpful or fun to watch, go ahead and like and follow me. In my future videos, I'll try to show exactly what things cost with receipts and everything. That way you guys can get a better idea for your trips. Ciao. Love you.